Hello everyone, it's uh, well, it's obviously me, for saying it's spirit, and I finally got off my lazy ass to do this TeamSpeak 3 overlay tutorial. Alright, uh, I'm just going to be straight up, i never done a tutorial before, and I probably suck at it, so bear with me. Alright, first thing you're going to want to do, you know, go to your internet, right, Type in TeamSpeak 3 Overlay Plugin. Or you can click on the link I'm going to put in the description of this video. Um, so you go to TeamSpeak 3 Overlay Plugin. Come to this page. It explains to you what's implemented. And you want to hit this green download button here. You're going to download it. Depending on how good your internet is mine's terrible it should be a really fast download and once it's done you're going to want to open it up right it has this and then you install it I'm not going to install it because I already have it installed on my TeamSpeak so then after you download it Make sure TeamSpeak is not on when you download it or install it because then it'll just, you know, sometimes it gets weird. But if you do on accident have it on, have TeamSpeak open while you download it, just restart the program, then it'll be better. Alright, so connect to a server. I'm going to connect to uh, TeamSpeak Connected. here. And I'm gonna go into my private Channel lounge. Channel switched. All right, now that I'm in my private lounge, you want to go to settings, then plugins. Once you're here, you want to go down to your plugins to TeamSpeak 3 overlay. Then you click on settings. Now, this, mm, I never really messed around with this, but I just have those unchecked have that set to zero you want to definitely enable all of these cuz you know depend if you don't know well if you don't know what your uh, direct X is on your video card then you probably just want to put one of those alright and you don't yeah don't worry about this if this is checked uncheck that you don't want that uh, important thing is the display um, if not already you want this on full um, what this does is in the bottom part of your skirt line depending on where you have your overlay at this will show a picture next to people's names um, you could just enable that or disable it if you want um, this, when you start the team, when you start a game, TeamSpeak 3 Overlay will start automatically if you have TeamSpeak open, and this is where it will start. Um, this doesn't really matter because you could just move it yourself manually. Um, and this is also your choice too. I have show server messages, channels, and chats, and pokes. And the duration I have eight seconds, so this means it'll stay up for eight seconds before disappearing. Next, colors. Um, it's really up to you. It's really customizable. For here, the window opacity. The if you don't know what opacity is, it's like the the hardness of the color. So three is pretty light, which is fine. And the scroll bar capacity you have a 30 now the background color you're gonna want to if you want to copy this exactly like mine then just copy these exactly so that's six F's right there the color of that now this one so when somebody's talking their name comes up green bright green that's double F I can't even see myself. I think that's double zero, double F, double zero. Uh, silent doesn't really matter. Nobody's really silent. Muted, this doesn't matter. Unless you want 
the names displayed 24 7. This sort of matters, but it's really up to you. Uh, yeah, don't even worry about copying that. That doesn't matter. This doesn't matter. Fonts up to you. I would say keep the size of the font at 12, same as the pop up size. Because anything bigger than that takes a lot of room on your screen. Um, the background of your pop-up, I think you can make it transparent, but I'm not going to mess around with that. I just have it black so it's easy to read. And I have the pop-up text set to this orangish color. Alright. Okay, this is what I use as an activation key, shift, alt, delete. What this does is, when your game launches, It'll say TeamSpeak 3 Overlay right in the middle of your game. Now any time you're in game, you put your activation key, which mine is Shift-Alt-Delete. You have to do those in order and hold them down. Then your game tabs out in a sense, like Steam Overlay. It'll tab into a TeamSpeak 3 Overlay. And you can literally drag and click where you want stuff to go, which I'll show an example of. So mine is shift alt delete. Uh, for extended, I end unchecked mark these. I forgot what they do to be honest. But I... Yeah, you don't want those. You don't want these two if they're checked. Definitely not. And... Definitely have these checked. Alright. Once you're done with that, uh, go ahead and launch your game. Alright, so then we launched over to see right there in the middle. It says Team Speak 3 over there, plug in. My name's off to the left, and Steam Overlay is bottom right. Shift Tab, Steam Overlay, Shift Alt Delete is the actual Team Speak 3 overlay. Um, I wouldn't recommend doing that on the loading screen of a lot of games. Wait until you main menu like this so then you can actually move around the stuff. If you click on any of the borders I believe actually it's the only top part. Click on the top part you can move around in the sides you can make it bigger or smaller however you want. And I usually put it up here in the top left corner I stretched just out a little bit so that way I could see people's full names. Some people have ridiculously long names so I gotta stretch it out a little bit. But it doesn't matter how far it's out. And then you want the pop-up area. I usually put it below, right here. Which, you know, it might be better just put it in the very bottom left so it's out of the way. This means you'll see people join the server, and you'll see them join your channel. Or you see people move to a different channel. Alright, if you left, pardon, if you right click, and then click display, and hit full, then you see everybody in the team speak, including the channels and where they're at in the channel. And you could, there's a scroll bar, you could go through the whole team speak. If you go with normal, it shows when I'm talking and when I'm not. Same with my music bar here. Alright, and if you hit minimized, it only shows my name when you pop. It only pops up my name when I talk, is what I meant to say. And if I do shift alt delete again, you only see my name in the top left when I talk. And the same goes for other people. For example, let me get my music. For example, the music bot, his name will just be there forever because it's playing music. And that really conducts the tutorial. I would love to give credit to the person I originally saw this from on YouTube. I forget which video and who it was. But if this tutorial didn't help you, there's plenty more out there.
but I think I basically covered how to do it. Uh, if you have any questions, put them in the comment section below, and more information will be displayed in the description. Hope you enjoyed the video. And yeah, I'm a bad guy. Thanks for watching.